And so mini batch gradient descent uh, is an algorithm uh, in the middle ground between batch gradient descent and stochastic gradient descent. So it is between batch gradient descent and stochastic or stochastic sorry stochastic gradient descent In mini batch gradient descent, the update of the parameter is performed on a small random subset of the full data set. So, so it utilizes a small random subset of the full data set. Utilizes a small random subset of the full data set and updates parameters. Uh, this combines the advantages of both uh, stochastic gradient descent and batch gradient descent by reducing the variance of the parameter updates. So, reduces variance on parameter updates. Uh, leading to more stable convergence and by being more computationally efficient than using the full data set. Uh, lead to stable convergence. Then using the full data set. This. Uh, the size of the mini batch is a hyperparameter that can affect the performance of the conversion speed. size of the hyperparameter affects speed affects convergence speed And to go over and break down the following symbols that we have. So mini batch uh, gradient descent, the following uh, symbols are. So we have theta, which we all know it's gonna be the parameter vector. Eta is the learning rate. And then this bad boy over here I wonder if I could just copy and paste the whole thing. I think I can. Let's do that. Let's just write it out. There we go. That's better. That looks prettier. This one is a gradient of the loss function. With respect to theta as well, evaluate a small subset batch. And for evaluated at small subset 
bench. And now let's move over to the Atom. And so yeah, thank you very much for taking time to watch this. If you found this video helpful, be sure and feel free to please like and subscribe. And if you have any other questions, feel free to put it in the comment section. And as always, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye.